you know, I use the word popular here. One of the reasons people actually do forge hadith is for popularity, right? Um, and this is not a new phenomenon. I know a lot of people get frustrated when, when you have these popular preachers and orators who like, you know, essentially I've caught people doing this, making stuff up or taking other people's stories and attributing them to themselves. For what purpose? To gain reputation. Um, this is not a new thing. In fact, uh, it is an interesting incident from the time of Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal. Uh, Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal and Yahya ibn Ma'in, two of the great muhaddithin of their age. There was a third, also a companion of them, was Ali ibn Madini, but there were these two, Yahya and uh, Ahmad ibn Hanbal. They once went to Masjid al-Rusafa in, in Baghdad, which was one of the large masjids that was built, I think, in 150, 159 uh, by the Khalifa. So this was like a large jami masjid. And they entered the masjid, and there was an orator, a storyteller, like a, what we would call a popular preacher today. And he had a large gathering in front of him, and he was narrating what he, what he was claiming was hadith. And so he said, وَحَدَّثَنِي أَحْمَدْ بْنُ حَمْبَلْ وَيَحْيَى بْنُ مَعِينَ قَالَ حَدَّثَنِي عَبْدُ الرَّزَاقِ قَالَ حَدَّثَنَا, حدثنا مَعْمَرْ And then he gave a hadith up to Anas ibn Malik. And the hadith he said is that, that مَنْ قَالَ لَا إِلَهَ إِنَّ اللَّهِ The one who says لَا إِلَهَ إِنَّ اللَّهِ once, he will enter Jannah and he will, for, for the, that statement, he will, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creates for him a bird. And it's, it's, its beak is made of gold and its feathers are made of, you know, marjan. And he, long story he gave them. That what is the reward of saying, La ilaha illallah once in Jannah? And it, it was like a two page long narration, which is like rare, you know, in, in hadith, like a very long narration. So, Ahmed ibn Hanbal is sitting there, and Yahya ibn Ma'in is sitting there, and looking at each other, and said, do you narrate that hadith, the hadith to him? And Ahmed ibn Hanbal says, I, this is the first time I've ever heard this statement before. Yahya ibn Ma'in says the same here. I've never heard this before. And he used our names in order to transmit it, because they were great imams, recognized uh, authorities in the field. So after the, the speech, they, they requested the, the, the orator, the speaker, to come to them. So that speaker thought, like, you know, he's very impressed with himself, you know, you know. Uh, good show today. So he thought that these two, he didn't recognize who they were. He thought that they were calling him to give him a uh, reward. <laughs> he thought that Imam Ahmad and Imam Yahya Ma'in were going to re reward him with something or say like, you know, good job or give him a pat on the back. So when he came to them, they asked him, that who narrated this to you? He says, Yahya ibn Ma'in. So Yahya ibn said, I'm Yahya ibn Ma'in. So he says, he, he, in his bewilderment, he says, Anta ahid, Yahya ibn Ma'in? He says, yes, I am Ibn Ma'in. I never narrated this to you. He said, you know, I used to hear for a long time, ma ziltu anna asma' anna Ibn Ma'in ahmaq. I, I used to always hear that Yahya ibn Ma'in was, was a moron. So he's like taken back. Here he has caught this person for forgery, and now he's calling me uh, an ahmaq, an idiot. He says, he says how, how so? He said, you think that in the entire world there's only one Yahya ibn Ma'in? I have narrated, I've written hadith from 17 Ahmad ibn Hanbals. Total, total lie, you know. <laughs> he got caught in his lie, so he kept on saying it. So when he said this, he said, I've katabt an sabata ashara Ahmad ibn Hanbal. Right? Uh, no, katabt an sabata ashara rajan is mu Ahmad ibn Hanbal. I've written from 17 people whose names are Ahmad ibn Hanbal. Ahmad ibn Hanbal put his wada akafahu ala wajihi and said da'ahu. Is to leave him alone. He put his head, head his, his palm on his face, and he just said, "Just leave this guy alone." I mean, this is something that was happening in the time of Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal. Right? In front of his face, he just made up this thing. There's 17 Ahmad ibn Hanbal, and there was not. You can look in the books. There's nobody by the name of Ahmad ibn Hanbal in his era, except Ahmad ibn, ibn Hanbal. At least that was known, and transmitted hadith. Right. So even in those days, there were people who. You know, for the sake of popularity, for the sake of fame, celebrity, they would make stuff up. And then when they got caught, they wouldn't, you know, admit to their forgery. They'd 